Boris Johnson made a number of statements, including ones about Russian energy, which acted as a driving force behind a rally in oil prices. According to the British Prime Minister, the West will definitely end its addiction to Russian oil and gas. However, this process will not be easy as other sources of supplies still need to be found, he added. In other words, despite the already imposed sanctions and restrictions, Europe has not yet found alternative supply options. This means that Europe's negotiating position is weak. Indeed, the European Union agreed to ban most Russian oil imports by the end of the year. Obviously, potential suppliers will inflate the prices as a time it against Europe. Now, let's take a look at the oil price chart and try to determine its further dynamics. Brand crude oil futures have been sliding as a part of a correction for the second week in a row. As a result, oil prices have already lost about 15%. This is a significant price change. But uh, given the assets medium-term growth, the current correction fits uh, into market cycles. Thus, sellers are expected to face the following support levels $105 per barrel, where the price has has already started a pullback, and the psychological level of $100, a likely target of traders. On a Friday, gold gained value and won back some of its early losses. From a technical point of view, the asset saw a technical rebound. Today, the yellow metal kicked off the new trading week with a gap up. However, its bullish run was short-lived as the quote almost immediately turned to negative. And in this situation, due to the market uncertainty, it's worth considering two possible scenarios at once. The first scenario suggests a downtrend. If the price fixes below 1830, the metal will most likely reverse and hit for the low posted last week. And the second scenario implies a continued upward move towards the price gap. And in this case, consolidation above 1840 will open the way to the level of $1,847 per three ounce. The number of factors putting pressure on gold has increased. Uganda announced that it had struck a deposit of a gold ore with an extra uh, extractable pure gold estimated to gross 320,000 tons. For comparison, it's estimated about 160,000 tons of gold have been mined throughout history. Of course, these reserves still need to be confirmed. Even if at least a tenth of the declared amount is confirmed, gold prices will suffer losses. The very prospect of a surge in the supply limits the asset's upside potential. Moreover, it creates preconditions for a steeper fall in the value of the yellow metal. Meanwhile, the situation with the ruble remains unchanged. The dollar is continuing its effort to break below the mark of 52 rubles, but its attempts have been a few times so far. This clearly indicates investor sentiment. Thus, the ruble is expected to extend gains until the Bank of Russia begins to take more active steps to ease its monetary policy. That's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.